Hello and what is going on you guys? Hyperion Blue GT here. Let's get ready to go off-road racing in Dominion Rivals Stage 1 for the live summon in the Crew 2. This is the perfect moment since we have finished Black Ice from week number 1 in the second episode in Season 6 Motorflix Dominion will have to go frozen. It turns out that three events is going to be so amazing by having street race, hypercar, and rallycross discipline to go on the skating ring to be on the track. Just like having a three lap time attack is going to have to go and face up to be on the winter deemed condition after we have finished episode 1 in the 6th Motorflix season of Dominion Forsberg. But right now, we have Rally Raid, Motocross, and Rallycross Discipline to take on in 3 events and 3 skills except only one to be on the low altitude for the aerial batics and air race discipline. But there is also to have one car has made its return after having a long wait for only 2 years. The Mitsubishi Eclipse Star Edition has now available in the Far and Beyond store. But that's not all. It will now be available for purchase using bucks or crew credits. You might have to get this car because this is going to be a perfect vehicle after having a long way to be on further delays. As also to have two vehicles will be included to be participate on one of the two events to be using on off-wheel category. So better get ready because this race will have to go off-wheel extreme and do the best while you can to go up onto the platinum rank. As always, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more and don't forget to click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now it is time to get ready to go for the live summit event. Let's begin. Well, it doesn't show the cover of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Star Edition is not shown to be on the Far and Beyond shop. Here we have 4 packs of penalties in Crazy Party. Scorpio Bundle for the Koenigsegg Jesco 2020 and this one is the Riders Republic Bundle for the 4 F-150 Raptor Evolution 2. But also to have one rally raid and rally cross to have 20% discount and 731,919 bucks available. Let's have a good look. Here we have a 2017 Ford Fiesta in the rally cross discipline. 380 horsepower, top speed, 124 miles per hour. Perfectly to be eligibility to use on one rally cross event to be on a restriction. And for the second one. The Porsche 959 Raid 1985, 400 horsepower and top speed 130 miles per hour. Looks like this Porsche is going to be quite cool and going enter to be in the off-road area. Just to be perfect to have this different set of the tires and rims and even the livery as well. Alright, just going to have to grab two off-road vehicles and preparation to be purchased so here we go folks. This is going to be so awesome and feel proud to have an off-road racing to be entered in Stage 1. Alright viewers, since I have already begun to be currently to start out to be on a gold medal in 14,268 place after collecting 4 rewards from Black Ice turns out to become slippery and challenging when you're racing on 3 Dominion Frozens on the track it's going to be much more slippery to be on a traction control will be full safety ever since we did everything what we had to take 3 laps is going to be challenging and more careful to be on a caution course. So now the next 4 rewards in Dominion Rivals Stage 1 to have Fame Pack and 150,000 followers, Legendary Hap Set 2nd part to be boosted in the Hypercar Discipline, 4 F-150 Raptor race truck to be on the gold reward is going to be a perfect 2nd generation as a 2016 model, and the Platinum Crimson Gold Spotlight Rooftop to be on a rare vanity is very cool to have a nice different type of a rooftop is also to be well used on any kinds of pickup trucks. Since I have took two skills to be already checked out and complete, now it's time to get ready to go for having an encore moment to be on a low altitude at the Cascades for using any airplanes to be on the aerobatics and air race discipline. Auto switch vehicle and get ready to go for having a daytime to be heading out and do the same thing all over again. 
trees, stay focused, and use the highway while you can because of the street light is about to become very challenging. Gonna have to go extreme mode. It's gonna get foggy out there. Daring and much more extreme to do this to have that multiplier to go up and increase. Three times amount. Gonna have to stay exactly under 2.8. Watch out for the traffic cars. Here it comes. Five seconds left. Reach it up and go for my main record. And there you go. 40,735 points. Looks like I'm stealing it. Perfect time and main outcome to have a brand new record, folks. After having a first attempt with no drama or get caught up by the trees. That's how perfect a finish line is going to be going out the skies by having a perfect moment before proceed on to the off wheel category to be on the skill. Next up, skill number two. We're going off to be at the conifer forest. Take place to be located in the mountain states. But Whenever any precision to take on for this part of the location, Whenever it comes to have off-road racing, it will might have to take the main direction course to go out from the forest and into the desert will have to choose any rally raid vehicle whenever you like to pick. Also for hypercar discipline, might be very challenging and go tricky, so it could be much more difficult and go skill advanced. So here I come and entered onto the cornerfield forest, we'll have to take the escape. Take the right side, watch out for the trees and rocks. But don't forget, the nitro is very much more important to have that good elevation. Whoever can survive this course is going to get much more challenging and much more daring extreme to go right at it. There you go, looks like I'm going to have to keep going straight. Take the jumps, watch out for the trees by coming out. Keep steering, and hello desert. Let's go kick up the nitro and do some refill by the elevation. Ventilated is going to be doing some more fine skill. Do some more jumps, and here it comes. 36, 19 yards. Talk about doing the first attempt for having a new fresh clip by double tapping in. But there you go. 114,068 points. Thank you, Ventilator Jump, and thank you, Desert, for doing a fine open area space. Now for the Solemn, and here comes for doing a location at the Sashata Cascade. Good thing that doing the best rally raid vehicle ever yet to be well used to have some Solemn course to be located in the west coast region of California. So now I'm going to have to go and do the same thing all over again. Going to have to remember it and talk things through. We'll have to do some score breaker by the skill. Quick filters to be using on any rally raid vehicles by selection. Okay, so going to have to choose the Hummer H1 Alpha Evolution 1 with the UDRS decommission variation. We'll have to go for another round to be on the exercise course. Let's turn the engine on. Get that H1 Alpha to be prepared and a taxi vintage rooftop is now going to be putting up here as well. Going to have to give this for only a short temporarily. Slide around and do some more points to be racked up. Kick it up. Going to have to do some more driving exercise. We'll be going well past by the exam. There you go, close call, and gonna have to keep going left, aim towards the right. Just gonna have to do some more solemn checkpoints clear, 10 seconds left, gonna have to hurry up, and gonna have to do more speed by the boost. And I have made it at last, 23,382 points. 
Good thing the solemn course is perfect and well activity performance complete. 155,970 points folks. Good thing doing the perfect time and west coast region is doing fine work out there to be in the Shasta Cascade. 2,593 position. Good work. So good thing that six off road events Good thing six off road events will be prepared and get set to be on the most finest off road racing events for the rally raid, motocross, and rally cross discipline. So let's start out to be using with rally raid vehicle. Gonna have to choose the Porsche 959 raid. It's gonna be a perfect time to be in a high speed drifter ever since from day one we'll be choosing any rally raid vehicle to be on the most finest position as a starter vehicle. Mostly up will fans is going to be so wild up and going speed up to have a good pace to be on any direction to go for exploring on the track. Mostly to have the Porsche 959 raid 1985 is going to be going maximum in 479 horsepower with a top speed 149 miles per hour in the per level at 140. But not to mention because the vanity items is already fully well equipped and good to go. Official livery is going to be quite good to have a car number 259 is going to be put up to be well prepared. However, it was originally to be made as a Group B car. But also to have to be based off from the real life the car rally car that might have to be exactly 100% correct. So let's see how this rally car can Stay go. Stay focused on the route and you'll ace this. Yeah, looks like it's fully charged up and go speed up onto the rush. Gonna make sure to see how the racing strategy for doing a one time attack to be on the course. Sprint race and one Porsche rally raid car will do the perfect place to start. By the way folks, this car is also to be fitted as an all-wheel drive for this classic vehicle. Not to mention because it's going to be cool and well driven to be on the rally course track. But only in the crew too because it can also to be drive on open areas to be used in the rally raid discipline. But you might have to take a good look at the interior view. This looks quite very vintage and retrospective to be used in the 1980s. Gonna have to drive more careful and proceed on to the next area checkpoint. Choose any direction, slow down, and gonna have to go for the left side direction. Yeah, that's more like it. Just gonna have to keep doing this, and I'll be all good. So I'm at almost in 70% in the progression. But I still got this. And here comes the finish line. Take that jump and go for the full final stretch to break any obstacles are in the way. One last jump. Here it comes and take it. Half amount of nitro refill is going to be perfectly to be at 50%. Now I'm going to have to do a perfect touchdown and go for the finish line. Regular on the podium is checked by complete and daily. So here is the activity performance. 119,607 points. Good job and much more fine rally rate vehicle to be as a Group B car. Talk about doing some Porsche vehicles ever since from the 1980s is checked and complete. Next up, rally raid number two to be at Navajo Trail for choosing any kinds of rally raid vehicles including the Porsche 959 raid officially to be known as Porsche 959 Group B. Okay, time to switch up and choose the Land Rover Defender Works B870 edition 2018 like last time by doing the escape skill to be entered by the desert. 
So now we're gonna have to go and kick things up to be on the up wheel area for only one race and beat the time by having a good limit Three. to be on the ventilator. We'll have to go quick refill in the nitro. One. So let's go and beat the main time in about three minutes. You'll make awesome time. I know it. So what you guys really think about trying out the Porsche 959 Group B is perfectly to be well eligible to be on the restricted event. Mostly delivery turns out to become fictionalized because of the 100% that might have to be well avoidable because of the copyright decals. But I know it turns out to become much more official to the 959 Rally Raid Group B. But it looks very cool and also to have all kinds of different liveries is going to be turns out and well matched up to be well based as a replica version. For now, in off-road racing number 2 to be on the rally raid, gonna have to choose any direction whenever gonna have to go enter to be on the off-road direction to have the navigation will be keep in touch. But don't get lost because the arrows will might help you out because it will have to take more speed and much more improvement to be the main time by the adjectives. Area checkpoint clear. Now let's go to be on the next zone. There goes the ramp. Gonna have to take it and go kick it to Nitro. That's better. 75% and gonna have to be well used. Let's slide around and turn right. It's like playing test drive off road wide open. But it's also to have trees and obstacles to be located around in the mountain states. There goes the checkpoint. There goes the rocks. Gonna have to be much more careful because there might be some bushes hidden. Let's go speed it up. Turn right. Power slide drift. Now I'm gonna have to do some more jumps by the hill. There we go. One minute left. Gonna have to hurry up. It looks like the finish line is just right up ahead. Gonna take it and go airborne. All right, looks like two minutes, 27.439 seconds. Good job and updated to be on the ranking record in 113,197 points. Now that's a Navajo Trail off-road racing to go explore. Two events on Rally Raid complete. Next up, it's gonna be on Motocross, you guys. Let's take on for having a most finest story mode event as you may ever recognize because we're going in to be on the Wolf territory in Los Angeles. And also to have mostly other best recommend choices to be using with the Nitro Chemist on motocross discipline to choose your favorite motocross bike. But talk about choosing the KTM 450 EXC with a UDRS Insportec livery is now changed back into a normal blue color to have a nice standard variation. But I know, golden color is a very good fortune used to have a number one rich title to have a golden paint design and decals to be well placed to be remains. So here I go. Let's proceed and take on two events in motocross you guys. Talk about doing the most finest racing of all. Motocross racing will have to beat the obstacles from the dirt and the tarmac. Come on, you can do it. Let's do this and drive careful. Here it comes, gonna have to keep going and take the jump. Do some ventilated. Pass on to be on the checkpoint by stopping in. Here comes the backflip. Hold it in and touchdown. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Going up the dirt and head over to the road. Looks like the fans are cheering on for me. Gonna have to 
hit it up and go for doing the sidewalk at the pedestrian zone. Hold it in, checkpoint clear, and here comes the alleyway. Just like last time, back in my full walkthrough, viewers, it's gonna get much more extreme and go advance by having some new tricks and skills when you're in whoop territory. Already charged up and giving myself to have a racing potential. Let's embrace it, go for the left direction, and press on to be in the next checkpoint down th the river. Oh yeah, looks like I'm all charged up and feeling electrifying. And here we are folks, finish line in 1 minute 58.463 seconds. Now that's awesome and fully electric shock to be well used. Now that's what I call electrifying motocross feeling to have an ordinary race. One motocross down, one to go, and moving on to be on the mixed category event, we'll have to do the next race to be on the rally rate discipline. So here comes the Mercedes-Benz S-Class event will be take over by motocross discipline. It's all about the test and see how it feels for only motocross discipline bikes will have to do some fine courses to be located in the west coast region. <clears throat> Alright, that's better. Sorry about that viewers. Three, Just took a little bit much more out two, than in. One. Here comes race number one for doing the first attempt. Let's kick it up it's and go off the road. Alright, take place to be on the south coast in the west. Gonna have to drive normal and head over to the bridge. Daily motor stars complete in driver. Drive anywhere, anytime. So no matter how motocross bikes can actually have to take over for only one rally rate event because it was used to be temporary by using the Mercedes-Benz S-Class is going to be quite very challenging to go off the road and dominate by any directions on any corners to be on an elevation. But it turns out for motocross discipline bikes is going to be much more fine effort to be on the off-road areas. But I'm already in right now because you're going to have to stay focused on the main route and press on to be on the current checkpoint in about exactly 100 yards remaining. Now let's go and do the uphill direction by doing the next area of the checkpoint. Currently exactly at 33% in the progression. Come on, just gonna have to keep things up and going. It's already charged up to be using the nitro. We'll have to keep some more patient time. Made it on top, and here comes the downhill folks. Better watch yourself and have that good sign by the direction will be highlighted to be a landmark. Here goes nothing. Take that jump and going up back on the hill again. Two minutes have passed and here comes the next checkpoint. Choose any direction, go by decision and gonna have to do some inside by the trees to be much more careful. Come on, just gonna have to keep it together. It's still giving a chain reaction to be well shocked up. Checkpoint clear. Currently in 73% in the progression. Going down. Gonna have to ace that up. Stationary without a stunt.
awesome time and let's kick it up and follow the dirt trail to be on the main direction talk about having daytime is going to be going bright and normal to be at the end of summer until moving on in fall Alright, so gonna have to keep driving forward and stay on the main trail. That should be quite very useful. And enter the bridge. One last stretch, up I go, and here comes the entrance at the finish line. Three minutes, 34.816 seconds, folks. There goes my first attempt record, and clearly to have 100,000 points added with 16,104 points. Now that's a very good motocross off-wheel racing, rather than using two rally raid bikes. There we go, looks like two rallycross discipline will be coming up next on the list. So let's see which rallycross event should I have to go first, you guys. Alright, let's go and have the 4 Fiesta, we'll be doing the restricted event on Temecula Winery Special Stage, we'll be at the go. It also turns out when you participate in one of the two Rallycross event, Tucker Tuck Morgan is now appeared to be using with the Audi S1 EKS Rallycross Quattro besides his ABARP 124 Rally. But however, because using one of the two rally-based vehicles will have to go with a Ford Fiesta 2017 to be at 230 per level. Handling is going semi-expert with top speed, 174 miles per hour, and 600 horsepower is good to go with some type of vanity, and also to have a blue shockwave smoke is now fully well equipped. Time to get ready to go after taking a two mile test out to see how it feels. And this livery is pre-equipped with a DMAC livery driven by Evelyn Evans and Daniel Farret, featured to be shown on the rear door windows of the vehicle. So now let's get ready to go and kick it up and go faster to take the lead. Fingers are crossed. All right, looks like it's so cool and very epic to have that blue shockwave smoke. It's going to be so amazing. Good thing Ubisoft has solved the problem because of the issues that we didn't get one from last week's event. By now, it is going to be a long time ago during this part of the year. Gonna have to stay focused, and the handling on the 2017 Ford Fiesta looks so very different like the Ford Focus rally car. The skill is going to be quite very successful compared to the Audi S1 EKS Rallycross Quattro as you may ever got these two new rides. But it's already been passed because last year is going to be so amazing to have two rally cars to be welcome in the game. Gonna have to go up, checkpoint clear, and do the downhill. We'll have to go smooth in, smooth out, checkpoint clear, we'll go proceed. So very awesome to have that exhaust is going to be kick up and go for the nitro. So amazing and so well skilled to be racing on the dirt but also to have a good look of the interior view. Much more racing technology to have this Fiesta is going to get ready to go for enter to be labeled as a World Rally Championship car. Going up the dirt and enter the tarmac by proceed into the next checkpoint. 20 seconds behind from the three racers. Gonna have to go boost up, keep up the handling, and gonna have to stay smoothly to be on a clean track. Time to go kick back up and go straight away to be on the dirt trail. Do that power slide drift. Checkpoint clear and moving on to be in the left turn. Now entering Orange County. I can't believe it. This is going to be so awesome to have that Fiesta is much more brilliant like the Ford Focus Rally Car and the Group B category from GT Sport and GT7. Slide it in, move on to be on the next checkpoint, and switch back to be on a third person view.
There you go. Regain that acceleration. Press on to be on the tarmac. Almost there. Finish line in about 2 minutes 44 seconds with a decimal of 0.396. There you go. 300,000 followers has been earned. Alright, it turns out for the first attempt by trying out as a test run is going to be so well remarkable. But however, I should probably have to go again for attempt number 2. This Fiesta is going to be so party up and go faster to be on the rally race. But in the meantime, because doing a rematch for Tucker Tuck Morgan is going to have to take a second chance. But that's not all because putting up to be at the exact range on 230 will have to go well maximum to have a nice exact horsepower to go up in 600. So let's try this again and go off-road racing strategy will have to go speed up. Go, go, go! But this time, this one might have a follow-up catch-up. We'll have to do a sub-activity moment. Just gonna have to go focus and do well speed of precision. Gonna have to slow down. Take that checkpoint clear before the next one goes down. Okay, watch out for the grizzly bear. Close call. Now I'm gonna have to go down the hill. Embrace and feel the wind to have that shockwave blue smoke is gonna be so very much more fine epic during the rally race in stage one. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to go up the top and go extreme down the hill. Very good. Now I'm going to have to keep driving forward, pass through, and face many obstacles and tight turns. Next checkpoint on the way, take that jump, and going to have to do a quick shortcut. Excellent job, just going to have to do a quick advantage while you're in the tarmac. Here comes the shortcut. Gonna have to stay on the dirt, boost it up, and gonna have to take that inside turn to go early, wide open, and going quicker to be on the most possible shortcut ever yet. Checkpoint clear, now going in. So very cool to have this race, we'll have to do some quick shortcut, we'll have to go quicker and improve to be on the update to be on the main second activity performance. Back in the asphalt on the tarmac road and kick it up the nitro. Almost there folks, this race will be complete at the end of second attempt. Just to be planned as promised, 2 minutes 31.7 seconds. Brilliant and perfect match reference to 007. 118,743 points. Excellent and 4 parts will be received to be spare parts to be converted. One more Rallycross event to go folks and that's it. Currently to be climbing up to be in the Platinum rank in 1,006,264 points in 2,416 place at the rank. Now for the final event, Ski Jump at Salt Lake City Resorts will be prepared for having one last event. Gonna have to choose any Rallycross vehicle for my selection. I'm about to go with a Chevy Camaro SS 2010 Rallycross Edition with UTRS Insportec livery car number 10 to be ready to go electrifying to be on the dirt and tarmac mixed together. It's going to get much more fun and electrifying to be racing to be on the dirt track and tarmac will have to go for challenging to be on the rally cross. Grid start in about 3 seconds so here I come. Let's go electrifying to be charged up. I'm sending happy winning thoughts. Alright, once again, 
Tuck Morgan is currently using for the APAR 125 rally is going to be on board for using the second part of the rally cross event. There he is right now, gonna have to do much more politely and go for the hairpin to be on the inside. Time to kick it up. Guess who's ahead of the pack? And gonna have to go slide around. Push up the nitro and going up the hill by doing the next checkpoint in the current sector. Alright, looks like the drip cam is still in recording. Gonna have to keep driving and go on the dirt. Let's embrace it. Press on in lap number two. Oh yeah, looks like it's gonna be quite cool and electrifying drip to be on the tarmac and dirt combined together. Take the jump, go for the hairpin, do that power slide drift, slide around clear and take the jump, going down onto the right corner to do a drift. Chances by chances to see how the handling when charging up to be on the tires is going to get much more chain reaction. Going up, checkpoint clear towards the end of lap number two. Final lap, here I come and go off-road rally drift. It's so much fun to have electric vanities, it's gonna get so cool and shocking awesome. But don't get cocky because racing on the rallycross track is very much important. When using any rallycross vehicle, we'll have to do some skills and drive around to be on a ski jump. Push up the nitro, press on, and currently to take that uphill turn by the next turn. Coming through, push through the nitro, final turn, and take the final stretch. Alright, looks like 2 minutes 29.258 seconds is now dominate to be at the podium. Looks like I have won the race and turns out to have the first round to be well challenging to go on the full attempt. Not over yet because I'm just getting warmed up and gonna have to do the second chance for having attempt number two. Let's go again and this time going faster and harder to be on the quick shortcut whenever it takes to have the best chance to be on the last position to be on the grid. I can't wait to see how it goes. Same thing as last time. Faster, faster. Gonna have to go faster, go faster. Do that drip on the tarmac in the first part. Checkpoint clear. Enter the dirt. Kick up the nitro to step it up onto the main pace by the handling. There you go. Perfect as planned. And just gonna have to keep a good steady pace when doing a high speed in a short straightaway. Alright, gonna have to keep going. Take the quick shortcut to have the main advantage. Just like how it feels when speeding up and go electrifying to be outfit on any electric type vanities on rallycross discipline will feel much more shocking reaction when embracing to overcome your skills and obstacles. But for me, I'm just gonna have to enjoy it and gonna have to go express myself whenever it takes. Currently to be on the halfway mark in about 50% remaining. There it is right now. Gonna have to do with some drift. Smooth around on the tarmac. Watch out for the opponent cars when jumping. Checkpoint clear. There you go. Just feel the electrifying flow when driving on the turns in the tarmac and dirt. Feel sweet and feel electrifying extreme. Final lap, here I come.
Alright, checkpoint clear. Almost there, viewers. This will might have a perfect chance to go up and update onto 100,000 points and over. That was so close. Good thing the drip cam is still in place by recording. Nine seconds behind the gap. Keep going. Take that finish line. There you go. Two minutes, 28.879 seconds is now officially update. Wow, looks like it was so great and challenging to go daring extreme to be on the ski track for having another round in rallycross track. That's more like it, but that's it for now because two tries during the part of the video clip will have to do a longer time by exactly under an hour. Well folks, six events and three skills except one to be on a low altitude is check and complete to be currently to have 100,000 points to be received as a bonus to be move on in 1,164 place, 164 place at the platinum ring in about six days left before the event is over. It turns out rally raid, motocross, and rallycross discipline turns out to become a fair even match to have three disciplines to be on the off-road category is going to get much more fun and feel the off-road of racing is going to get much more fine racing extreme. So that's it for now because stage one of Dominion Rival is complete before stage two will be scheduled before at the end of September will be scheduled on 5th to 12th of October in about the next event. But I can't wait to get the Chrysler 300 SRT8 Crown Edition because this special edition is going to become the crown of the street racing champion. It's going to be well featured to have Edgar Tio Marquez is now ready to join in. Let's have a good look on Scandibian Flick for having some more events coming in soon. Two Dominion Frozen events. Live Extreme Series Episode 2 is now featured to have a very good excellent opportunity and the McLaren 12C Touring Car and a Lamborghini Benio in the Hypercar Discipline. Touring Car and Rallycross event is going to have to list up to be having some different parts onto the legendary loop part including one of the 45,000 bucks to be received as a prize. Alright folks, time to wrap this up and we're about to be ready to go for having another theme summon for having a brand new in about one week until moving on in September 28th through October 5th. But don't forget you guys, get the Mitsubishi Eclipse Star Edition is now available in the Street Race Headquarters for only $581,839 or 83,119 crew credits when the Dominion Forsberg update was deployed. But I can't wait to try out to get the Star Edition of Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX is going to be so cool and unique livery to have different alter body kits and a spoiler. Thank you for enjoying watching the video in the crew too folks. I hope you enjoyed. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for a notification on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. Don't forget to check it out on any social media platforms like Dividend Art, Twitter, Instagram, GT Planet, and more for see for my own image artwork like UDRS Delivery, Total Drama Fan Art Ricard Liberties, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be see you guys next time on the live summit event in the crew 2 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.